Love you from the first time you call me late Love you for your wits and your wicked games uh, yeah. Always on my mind, always in my brain yeah. With you this summer came and went in a day And I've been craving you Hey, what's up you guys? It's Brit Lyons. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I have been tie-dyeing everything that I possibly can. Like this little set, I actually tie-dyed it with my friend Alyssa. I feel like tie-dyeing has become like a huge trend lately because everyone's board in the house and they're in the house board. Yeah, we bought a bunch of supplies to tie-dye a bunch of different things. Matt got some t-shirts. I got some more sets. I want to try some different like patterns and colors. And I'm also going to be making my friend Alyssa's baby boy something really, really cute that I will be giving to her for her gender reveal. She doesn't actually know what she's having yet, but by the time this video is out, she will know the gender of her baby and it will be so exciting. And I'm just excited to give it to her and make it. And I think Matt is excited. He got some black and gray dyes so he's excited to experiment with those as well but i've been waiting for a good two weeks for all of my items to come in to start tie dyeing and i'm very eager to do so so before we get started if you guys like me and you like videos like this definitely make sure to click subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an upload i literally can't wait any longer so let's get on into the tie dye I just wanted to show you guys what we're gonna be tie-dyeing today. I got Alyssa's baby a six month old little onesie and I also got her a 12 month old little onesie because I know a lot of the newborn stuff doesn't actually fit a newborn baby. So just in case I sized up so that he can grow into these little onesies. So Matt suggested that I tie-dye the six month old one blue and the 12 month old one gray. And then I got three of the same set from Amazon. So this is just like a Hanes um, long sleeve t-shirt and I got a bunch of those Sophie shorts which is actually the same type of short that I tie-dyed pink. I don't know about you guys but loungewear sets are so expensive so I just felt like you know what I'm just gonna make my own cute tie-dye set so I can just wear around the house. So my thought process behind these sets was to try a couple different tie-dye methods. I really like the method that I used for this one so I'll probably include that method with one other tie-dye set or maybe two but for one of the sets I'm planning on doing like a tan kind of taupe color. Um, I just thought that it would be a really nice like neutral set and then I thought we could try it like an aquamarine set and then the last set that I really want to try is an ombre um, I want to do like an ombre coral to yellow so it'll have some orange in there as well I'm a little bit nervous about that one so fingers crossed that that works out but these are all the items that I'm going to be tie-dyeing today let's go ahead and head out into the backyard so that we can get tie-dyeing we're gonna start off with the blue set and the blue onesie. So I'm going to be using the aquamarine dye by RIT. So I actually have a couple of measuring utensils with me and I plan on either writing them down or just doing my best to remember exactly how much I used of the blue and then we'll move on to the other colors from there. So let's get started. I got these little bottles off of Amazon. Um, they have like a ton of like little squeeze bottles for like $12 or something like that. And then I have my warm water. So I'm just going to add about three fourths of this like full because I want I don't want the blue to be like super pigmented I think I'm gonna start off with a half a teaspoon so I really want this to stay pretty pastel and this is really dark so do that I'm gonna add one more half teaspoon which I think makes a full teaspoon um, just because it is going to lighten a bit once we wash it and everything. And then apparently you want to add a little bit of dish soap so you can just put like... It looks really pretty. Mm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So I have all of my rubber bands and I'm just going to crinkle everything and get it all tied up. So for the crinkle method, you literally just like pick up pieces and you kind of like grab it and bring it all in together like so. And for the arms, I did kind of like an accordion style thing where I just fold it like this. So 
So for the pants, you kind of have to be careful because if you start crinkling like at the crotch, yeah. um, you'll get this like weird design like right at the crotch and it right. will look a little awkward. So I like to go on the side like these. And then I like to just swirl the shorts into a ball like that so that I can easily rubber band it. So for the onesie, I just kind of want to try something different where we just do, since we don't have sleeves, we're literally just going to kind of grab and pinch and fold it in. Alright, once they're all ready to go, now it's time to start tie-dyeing. But now we're gonna put this in a bag and we will see what it does in 24 hours. Next we have this taupe set that I really wanted to make. The taupe looks gray. I just looked at it after opening it. So I'm hoping that it, uh, that it doesn't look gray. But I mean, I guess if it does, it's still neutral. So it'll still work with the vibe I'm going for. But I'm gonna do the same method. Sure you can take it. It, it does look a little brown, like yeah. on the cardboard. Yeah. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll lighten enough in the wash. Now we've got the 12 month old set. I think I'm gonna do an accordion style for that one and we'll just go vertical with the whole thing. Okay, so this method is gonna be a little bit different because I still want the crinkle pattern, but Matt pointed out to me that obviously we can't fold the sleeves because we need it to actually continue ombre down the shirt. So what I'm gonna try to do is do the crinkle method, but we're not gonna accordion style the sleeves. We're gonna actually keep them with the middle. So it could look a little funny, but it could look pretty cool. So we're just gonna try it out and see what happens. Instead of spiraling the shirt, we're gonna keep it long ways like this. So I'm basically just gonna do rubber bands all the way down. So if I want it to be horizontal, we're gonna do the, the same, same thing. thing. Actually, what I could probably do is just the accordion thing. And yeah, you can do that with break. this. Mm -hmm. Just instead of spiraling it, you're going to yeah, leave it, it log shaped. All right, you guys, so I'm back with my cameraman and husband, Matt. Here he is, right here. He's just chilling. But he's going to be reacting to my tie-dye project outcomes since he helped with the design of them. So the first thing that we did was the little mm. onesie. How do you think it came out? It looks cool. Doesn't it? It, it looks, looks so cute. It looks like, it looks more white. Yeah, I kind of like it though. It looks like the sky. 
like clouds. Yeah, it does look like clouds. So hopefully they like it. The next blue items that we have here are the blue set that we tie-dyed. But this is how it came out. I think oh. it came out really cool. It literally looks exactly like the onesie, onesie um, <clears throat> but in a set form. So what do you think? What do you I rate like it? it? Oh, we're rating stuff? Yeah, I don't know. We'll um, make it fun. I give it a, a six. A six? Wait, yeah. what do you give this? An eight. An eight? Yeah. Okay. So, so far the one that I tie-dyed with Alyssa. Only because is like it, it's still like white. You know, you think it just should have more blue, going like on. this one's like pink. So like maybe I should tie dye blue. this one again. Yeah, maybe with like a different, like a darker blue. So Matt gives this one a six. I think it came out really cute. I don't know. I think it's a nice staple blue. Yeah. Nice set. So I'm excited to be able to wear it as my pajamas. So here is the gray onesie. A really yeah. light gray. I like it though. I feel like it should just be more. If I had more time, I would probably redo this one, I guess, because Matt says it's not gray enough, but he is obsessed with gray. He'd probably add black to this, too, because that's yeah. the type of boy he is. Yeah. But maybe, you know, there's always time. I can make him another one when he's older. Okay, another onesie when he's, like, what, 18? <laughs> no, like a t-shirt or something. Oh, know. yeah. Like, when he's a little toddler. Next, we have our tan set, which kind of looks a little bit more gray in my opinion, but I think it came out really cool. We did the exact same method. How come they're still like white though? Because that's tie-dye. But tie-dye I thought was like... If you use multiple colors, then there wouldn't be any white, but oh, okay. apparently Matt is not a fan of this really light wash kind of yeah. effect. I am though. I just think it should be more. More? Yeah. I can always do this one again, but I think it came out really cute. What yeah. would you rate this one? A five. A five, so you like it less than the blue. It's very plain. Yeah. This one was the one that we did the most work on, and I feel like it came out the coolest. You can open your eyes. Oh! This one's crazy. This like is tie-dye yeah. to you. Yeah. This is what it came out like. This is our ombre set that we did. So we've got it going from yellow to orange to pink, and, and the then same thing with too. the shorts. Yeah, the sleeves came out good too. Like they worked yeah. really well, like you said. Yeah. This reminds me of some kind of like sherbet or something, mm. doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. So I think it's so cute. I'm so happy with it. What do you rate this one? Ten. Ten. This is yeah. your favorite. Me yeah. too. We worked the hardest on that one too. We did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention that obviously we are not showing you guys Matt's t-shirts because unfortunately they're not going to come until after this video is already up. But what I will do is if you guys are interested in seeing how those ones come out, I will just put them on my Instagram story. So make sure you're following my Instagram and turn on my notifications so that you don't miss that because that'll be really fun. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, please remember to hit subscribe and click the bell icon if you haven't already so that you never miss an upload. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these sets was your favorite. You guys already know, I think, which one was our favorite, which was the... Okay, we're calling it the Sherbert set because sure. it just looks like Sherbert. Bert. So we are eager to know which one you guys like the best. I hope you guys are having a great week so far and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Love you from the first time you call me late. Love you for your wits and your wicked games. Uh, yeah. Always on my mind, always in my brain. Yeah. With you this summer came and went in a day.